Whoa! <coughs> hey everybody, we're on TV. So, yes, once a day, every day, we turn on the machines and we start talking for an hour. That's right. It's the program. We, we just did a thing, we recorded like 15 minutes of stuff, and then and got, the tape got messed up, so I'm doing this tape thing right now. I'm destroying it. But, uh... We were, we had all the stuff that we, were, we did. We never remember when we started. We started talking about something immediately. Remember that? Uh, yeah. Uh, it was like uh, y you were um, doing something with the voice. Oh, like this. Uh, and then we were talking about lab yoga for a while. And we we're talking about other stuff. Now it's like I feel like we just were in the commercial for about 15 minutes that we is gone forever. But now yeah. we're here. We're in our another 15 minutes again. So today we're doing an extra little time for. Uh, you know, I guess anybody who's malevolent, benevolent can see the the things that aren't recorded that happen in the future somehow. How are you doing today, Carl? Uh, I'm doing okay. It's uh, uh, Thursday for the viewers at home uh, that are specifically watching this on TCTV. So, hello, people. Um, yeah, it's. it's a little bit eerie to uh, try to come re come up with uh, content all over again, but we'll uh, wait our way way through the uh, program now. In what way is it eerie? I don't. I mean, I don't, you think it's like it's oh, like your, well, it's like deja vu? Is that what it is? No, it, it's it's kind of like oh, I had a kind of good content that I I could have been possibly good at you know and to kind of rehash it is you know it's like can't really emphasize you, you know um um re-speaking about you know the good parts and you just gotta wipe the slate clean and approach from the um you know doing this program from a, a totally new bent or whatever yeah each time you can like you're gonna go remember what you did last time and try to repeat yourself I don't remember what happens each time anyway. We go for so time and uh, when we when we lose that time sometimes I think did we lose it? Is that something that we're gonna have lost or we even have more time and it makes me think which stuff is more relevant and not relevant. So we've been do, we do the show every day and then whatever happens it just goes. So it's like which stuff is the important thing? Did we really lose anything or did, was that like a, a, a warm up and we were saying things that we were supposed to skip or you know it's, it's hard to hard to know. Yeah, hard to know. But um, uh, today's topic is uh, TV, and I don't really have a TV um, plugged into um, plugged in at all. Not plugged into Comcast. Not even plugged into the side of the wall. Um, this TV has uh, um, that we're looking at right now. Uh, basically, two. RCA jacks and uh, buttons for like um, uh, channel control and volume control and uh, you know a spot for the remote like infrared receiver and that's about it. My uh, TV at home has th those same sort of um, features I believe but one additional feature that it has is a door for videotapes so in theory, I could use the, this um, television set to watch um, old videotapes. And mm -hmm. uh, for the, the viewers that don't know at home, uh, the, this uh, garage, you know, goes through rotating, um, um, uh, like uh, capacities of videotapes. Um, uh, if you're a long-time listener, you might know that, that there were, like, uh, um, Titanic um, was, you know, they had multiple copies of Titanic, especially down in the basement when we were down in the basement. And um, that is still somewhat true today, but uh, it seems to be less commercial movies, maybe. Um, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. Would you say that there are less commercial movies in, at this studio than in the garage? Than Titanic. Titanic is probably the, one of the m most commercial ones of all time. But you know, I think I mean they're all the commercial movies. What kind of other kind of movies is there? 
Well, I'm I'm In indie or something. Well, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm commercial? I I'm I can make out Kill Bill right there. That's um, commercial. Yeah, but right underneath that is uh, like a um, uh, a Polaroid tape that. Oh, that's a, yeah, Polaroid the company. I think that's a commercial tape also. Of uh, true, but you you can't really tell whether what what box like what you, you know that's that's something that uh, uh, bought as an end you for use as an end user consumer you know, you know to use in in um, video cameras and whatnot. Um, um, is that what commercial is? Well, the commercial uh, videotape for me would be more of uh, something, you know, like certainly a commercial movie would be like Kill Bill or Titanic or something like that. Uh, the, the videotapes that you have on the organ over there, um, um, at least one of them, does not strike to me as maybe being, um, uh, at least one of them um, might have to be screened um, so that you don't have a problem like this again. But who knows? Maybe this one was uh, uh, some sort of. Oh, this was a Hollywood video movie. So yeah. uh, I I guess um, it it uh, it's almost like a a, a crapshoot, you know, getting struck by lightning. Oh, having a, a bad tape or not? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you could avoid I, I'm looking at the button now. I just got to look at that light more often. If you want to know, Carl, I see this light right here. I'm telling you more things. Yeah. And it's, it's circled there. Yeah. That's the record light. So if you ever think, are we recording? <laughs> you can look over that light. And I do that periodically. Sure. I probably do it more often. Yeah. Because I would have realized. But I'm looking at it now. So I'm like, are we recording? And I look at the thing and I circled it. So I say, yes, we're recording today. Well, um, one thing that uh, probably would not want to happen is like uh, um, half an hour in um, when there were seven people here to figure out, oh, wait, this show is not recording. Uh, yeah, that could be worse. That could be really... It could be worse. We weren't that far into it. Not even 20 minutes. Yeah. And that didn't happen at all yesterday, so... Um, with the crowd, but yeah, it could have been worse with the crowd. It would have been like, oh man, there's a whole crowd here. Yeah. But it's good to know that, you know, I, I see the uh, light that's circled with uh, um, gold um, ink or whatever. And, um, yeah, um, what about TVs for you? Yeah, I like TVs. When I, I, I I watch a lot of TV. We're doing sh the show now. You know, I think if I didn't like TV, I wouldn't have wanted to get into it. But it's uh, yeah, it's got to be my favorite thing in the world. What else is there? I watch TV. I'm I'm on TV, so it's it's uh, it's up there for me. I'm, it's a good subject, and it's so vast. I think I was saying before about how maybe people think that TV takes away from your imagination, but I think maybe it uh. uh increases your imagination because when you when you walk <coughs> when you use your suspension of disbelief for television and, and you allow yourself to to get into the uh, the world of, of TV then you can uh, change your mind I guess this is a world of TV even though we're kind of in, in more documentary stuff so we're in the real world but you can still suspend your animation to think that we're in in your time and stuff and that we're talking to you which we are we're talking to you viewers but like at, at the same time you're watching the past and it's like it can show it can show you the past TV can show you the past yeah well my viewing um, um, uh, diet I guess you could say has been more in terms of watching video um, on on uh, you know be computer or iPad although I haven't used an iPad you know for like at least three weeks and probably even longer than that um, uh, it, it's just one of the things that kind of happened as an um, uh, of and a result of Jennifer passing away I haven't relied on 
you know, the iPad too much anymore in terms of doing a pass and play game. Uh, there are plenty of games that uh, entertain me on my phone and, you, you know, some others, you, you know, that I could uh, probably um, dial into um, at, in terms of uh, distractions on the internet. Let's get a shot of this tape ball and play the dice game also. Uh, we already have numbers. You want to keep your same number? I'm going to keep my number, I think. Look, whoa, it's a big ball of tape. Yep, all right, here. Do you want to keep your number or you want to get a new number? I will keep my number, but we probably will need to re-roll for the re -roll. viewers. We're going to re-roll. Just because the, the viewers probably want to see what has... Um, that one is not uh, valid anymore. Here we go. Five, I lost still. Oh, maybe that's why we restarted. I, yeah, uh, you're welcome, or I, I don't know. What? I'm welcome. For what? Uh, what? Uh, well, for anything. the viewers out there, you know, if any viewers out there got rolled as a five, well. I think you're, wel I, you think, you're saying you're welcome when nobody said thank you is <sighs> man. weird. I, I, I'm off in that. You're feeling, you're weird, you're feeling, but you're feeling like somebody's saying thank you somewhere, but you're, but they, they didn't. Well, sure, maybe, um, uh, you, you would have this uh, dialogue happening with, uh, um, some sort of viewer. Viewer, please call if this happened. <laughs> Help me back me up here. <laughs> but, but, you, you know, it's like, Carl, somebody, like, threw up both, Nobody you know, fists, yeah. and they're like, yes, I rolled a five too, Carl, and be before, you know, I, I said thank you, and when I said thank you, they probably uh, fell back in their chair a little bit, because, you know, I'm talking to you, so you call the number 360-836-4384, and tell me that it's true that I did congratulate you, how about that? Yeah, nobody participates except for maybe Joe is the only one that ever well, actually participated in anything. True, true. Um, um, on that note, uh, he hasn't called me or sent me an email, I believe. I haven't uh, been super focused on catching up on my email, but I did leave my contact telephone number uh, for him. But hopefully I'll see him uh, within the next week. Um, at the board game club and we can organize a specific time hopefully during daylight hours you know not like at midnight or one in the morning uh, to uh, do a taping for um, Joe for board game day oh yeah TV day today when was the last time you watched actual TV you know what? I something I miss is that I don't even think it exists anymore is just like straight up like broadcast television where you can change the channel and you don't know what's going to be on it and this is the thing it's never going to happen again and it, it didn't really go for that long I think the future it's almost maybe TV is going to be gone soon I know we're on TV so like uh oh hopefully it doesn't get gone soon but we can be on the internet too we are on the internet too but yeah everything's moving towards these computers and streaming and everything so people are watching less and less uh, broadcast television and Broadcast television is kind of like a secondary thing now, I think, compared to, uh, to just... Oh, no, I, I fully believe that um, uh, uh, television as we know it today will certainly not be in uh, around for another 12 to 15 years. Oh, my gosh. I, like, whenever, whenever the inevitable death of television happens, I'm going to be so freaked out. I guess for multiple reasons, because what, we, what are we going to do here? Well, number one, we're going to be on, like, uh, the whatever YouTube of 10 years is. Yeah. And also, it's like, we're going to get off. To, I mean, I guess t once broadcast television goes away, what is going to happen to groups like TCTV? Maybe they'll, they'll have to move into a computer kind of thing, or, like, all all these TV stations. And, well, I guess there's still going to be, there's still going to have to be some kind of TV, because, like, the Tonight Show, I mean, that's, like, our rival. I don't know if I'm talking about the Tonight Show, but, like live shows and our show and things like that they're gonna have to exist somewhere people have to watch the 
the budget the budgeted shows high budget shows we're low budget over here yeah uh, but uh even even when tv is gone those shows are still gonna have to exist in, in a medium it's still gonna be a moving thing but it's not gonna be the same as tv it's gonna be well right i i what i foresee is that you, you know there are gonna be just like streams available and you know uh, like youtube is is going to offer this streaming capacity and people can tune in on their whim and instead of like um being somewhat somehow you, you know beamed out like an image to you know uh the the um the houses um up and down um, the Atlantic and Pacific seaboard, you know, central and mountain time. And I, I think that this will just allow people to watch more TV uh, when they want instead of being conditioned, you know, to tune in at 7 o'clock. Um, um a lot like uh, um, Atlantic time. You can still do both. I still, even though I have the internet to watch shows on and they can watch whenever I want, I still like to do the time and look at, hey, it's time for the show. And people will say, how come you're going to watch this on time? And it's broadcast television. It's, it's To me, it still has a, a magic to it. Maybe it's I'm just holding on to the past uh, with this magical broadcast time. But maybe it's because everybody else is watching it at the same time when it's broadcast. And it's not the same thing when you're watching your own video. It's like you have your, it's like a video. But when you're watching it on TV, you know everybody else is watching the same thing at the same time. And maybe that has a, 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 a magic. It's a magic. Yeah. Well, I, I, I personally don't know. And what, what I do know is that TV has you don't existed. The magic of broadcast television. No, not so much anymore. Did I. Used to watch a lot of TV before they, uh, before you. Uh, well, yeah, got into before, the right. Uh, I used to been. Uh, I I guess maybe I was kind of disillusioned by broadcast media over time, with, with the advent, uh, with uh, what whatever that people would call 9/11. Of uh, you know, uh, you have these two jet planes that you know hit two different towers and you know how can you say that you know it um i i don't want to get too much into skepticism whatever word that was well, that i yeah, i just nine, butchered nine eleven conspiracy theories no oh, well no. not not so much but you know what we uh of uh, um you just have these towers that that crumble. Um, um, I, oh, okay. I just and I want to hear don't you connect this to broadcast television. Well, I I uh, I was kind of disillusioned from you know when people have a rush to judgment. Aha! These are you, you know um, these kind of people or those kind of people. Uh, I'm, to, well, okay, and television, broadcast television. Well, I I. I think that's the mass it, media event, and that would be even worse if it was if on the internet, like an internet kind of thing. There, people would be able to jump to conclusions even faster and and, and easier. I think at least with t TV, it's only one-sided. I think with the internet, it's easier to do that kind of thing. Well, um, I don't know. When you had you know broadcast journalists and whatnot, just being able to say you, you know oh that made you stop watching tv after that well yeah it was like it, it was it, i don't i don't think you're connecting things correctly I no 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 i well no i i am uh, you you know uh -huh. it's it to me it wasn't I, I, it really wasn't a valid point you know to blame um this event on on one group of people or just like 19 terrorists 19 terrorists can you know um, um, blow up or blow down two buildings you know with two jet planes I more about this after info time I don't I don't understand I don't really see it 
Here are our answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching right now. It's called your Daily Hour with me. It's a call and television talk show on the radio that's recorded right here in Thurston County every day of the year. It airs every night like at 11.30 p.m. on Channel 22 and 2 a.m. on Low Power FM at 2 a.m. Each episode broadcasts a week after with tapes. You're watching this on TV at 11.30 p.m. This episode taped the same weekday as the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped in the same month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll call you back on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in, and now back to the program. I, okay, so you you have conspiracy theories about 9/11. I understand that, and whatever you can think, you can think what you want, and it's probably more than 19 people. But why? What? Now, how did that do, disillusion you from broadcast television? Well, it's just trying to shepherd, you know, people to uh, to uh, go against um, a specific class of people. You know, it's like. Um, I don't see that in TV. I think that they're trying to do. I think it's, TV is doing whatever people want it to. Well, if you want it to do one thing, and they're doing that thing. I think TV is actually helps in diversify diversifying culture because they try hard to diversify because diversity is an in thing, you know, right now. Or demonize, but no, I don't think they demon. I think T. I would say that TV is more diverse because you you have these people and you wouldn't even experience them like some minor some people if you're living in an all uh you know white neighborhood or whatever city, yes i i would well i would have to agree i would want to see more white people watching Uhura and more sulu but you, you know i you like minorities carl well you sure you don't want to you don't uh, dislike minorities well, no, I don't dislike minorities. No? You, you know, I. Why not? Well, the, the more minorities. I, I mean, uh, minorities could teach me something that I had known about. You know, um, life. Yeah, or you know, seafood or whatnot. Seafood. Minorities and their seafood. Um, <laughs> oh man! <but> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I guess it's so good. Back into broadcast television. I don't think not. You, like, not, you, Oprah told it's you to be a vegetarian dry, and broad- Dry heebie. 9-11 taught you, or told you to n- stop watching TV? No, n- n- nobody told Did me Did you see to... that Oprah thing on TV? Uh, to be I may have not, no. Where, where, it was on the internet? Well, at least it was so widely cir- circulated, you, you know, hearing it about on uh, Entertainment Tonight or... Extra TV, or right? you know uh, the, the national news or whatnot. That's, a, that's TV. Yeah, that's TV. So, yeah. But um, TV give you vegetarianism, Carl. Aren't you happy about that, or is it a burden? I, th- I always think I think it was a burden to myself, but. Um, I, yeah. sure. He used <laughs> you with vegetarianism, uh, but yeah, I, th- I I really like broadcast television. I don't know how people go without without it really. Uh, but maybe you don't at home viewers if you're watching this then you don't go without broadcast television I commend you for that well um, it really started up in the 1950s and the 1960s in in terms of not that long ago really yeah uh, and I kind of think that you know that there's something around the corner you, you know newspapers um, for those that don't know are you know the newspaper businesses really falling on hard times yeah, and it's on the, it's on people the outs. yeah people with uh, you know their uh, printing technology you know printing presses and whatnot it's really getting harder and harder to be profitable yeah you don't need to print stuff anymore it's all text on the on, on the go on the, on online with changing text so you don't yeah, need to write y- stuff anymore yeah newsprint is on TV. its yeah. on its way out I'm and I'm surprised that TV didn't take over the newspapers a long time ago but yeah, well, th- that's that's what they were kind of saying, but you, you know, newsprint is still kicking itself around. But I I think uh, the, the the last newsprint in the last broadcast um, facility will uh, be around. I uh, it will take another um, 
half a generation, I guess, before it, um, both of them uh, finally croak. At least um, newspaper uh, media um, uh, broadcast, you, you know, uh, uh, broadcast media like televisions or uh, having flat screen TVs on walls. That might be um, still around for at least another 20 years, maybe. But uh, I, I think that, you know, virtual reality or whatever else that is um, just like on the periphery of, of our consciousness is going to be um, more attainable. Or maybe people are just going to kind of unplug all these different kind of electronics and just deal in face-to-face -face communication which I'm I'm uh, the person that is kind of wants to celebrate that because uh, you do you don't do very much face-to-face -face communication well I don't but I wish I could yeah it's like you're, you gotta do this, do it first before you try to get other people to do it <laughs> well uh, okay, I guess I'll do it more often than myself yeah. before I ask other people to do it. Yeah. But anyway, um, uh, yeah. Um, um, what else could we say about TV? Broadcast television. You gotta watch broadcast television. Get back into it. Did you? But I wonder. Did you used to watch it like frequently before? Before like when did you stop watching it? When you um, got, when you got your own around two two thousand. Two, two thousand three. Yeah. It, it just it be became less and less entertaining for me to watch. Because of the internet, though, right? Is that well, not well, not not just because of the internet, but you know, it's like uh, it, it, to a certain degree, uh, I've I just kind of noticed this myself that. Um, uh, there were, there was, you know, in, in, on some form, on, in some fashion, uh, people to m make, um, uh, uh, you know, have this blame game, uh, some sort of bully puppet, puppet or whatever, like, uh, um, oh, the, those are the wrong people, and, you know, I, I'm the kind of person that I need to be more convinced Rather, rather than you know to you're a skeptic. Well, I got to be skeptical of everything. I got to so, be so skeptical of what I'm even uh, the conclusions I arrive at. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I I gotta you know cross check and cross reference my own self, not not just you know whatever I see around me because yeah, I, uh, um, it's uh. Um, it, it's kind of a hairy business to, uh, um, to, uh, be mindful of what your, what, what your brain is doing or some sort of, like, capacity of, of, uh, of, okay, I'm going to be thinking about this now or I'm going to be focusing on this or that or, or whatever. And um, me personally, I gotta like say, is that really healthy for me to focus in on? You know, like doing, you know, like uh, on the computer watching videos for like uh, three, four hours, you know, nonstop. You know, hey, people do that on TV all the time, you know plunk down and, and, you know, you know, uh, use a remote control and flip back and forth between the, a couple of TV, TVs. My parents are still pretty much diehard, um, um, TV watchers. You, you know, they watch MSNBC a lot, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a propaganda machine, huh? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and, um, uh, for me, I'm I'm just like I don't know. I I gotta cross reference whatever I'm I'm, I'm what I MS think or I'm for? being told or what's that? MSNBC. What does the MS stand for? 
I uh, MS stood for Microsoft, but I think Microsoft. Uh, MS NBC, MS Microsoft NBC. Yeah, what? Microsoft and NBC um, collaborated really? around. Yeah, uh, 1995 or 97. Microsoft is involved with MS NBC. With it, it was like uh, um, 20, 25 years ago. Really, I didn't know that. That's a weird one. Well, it was 18, 18 years ago. But now uh, I get MSNBC. I, n I never thought about what MS, the MS stands for, multiple sclerosis. Um, I'm surprised that, at that. All right, let's play the dice game. Yep. Here we go. We're going to write number, or we've already written our numbers. Now we're going to roll the dice. We're still recording. That's good. Here we go. Four and three. I lost again. What do you got? I don't remember. Oh, five, right? Five. Five hundred points. Yeah. Look at this. This is all. This is all for one VHS tape. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It almost looks like one of those monsters from um, Sesame Street. It seems like there would be so many, or a fry kit. There would be so many more, or there would be so much more room in tapes. But there's this is all VHS tape. You can hold this much tape, but I guess it's all. Spread out when it's flat and went down it's crazier, but it's well it's spread out like this. When it's so spiral bound and arranged in in uh, a nice um, circular format, um, sure, yeah. I guess it, it could be tighter or neater arranged, but um, I don't know. Maybe you could uh, uh, produce some art from that, or uh, I'm sure that people have. Produced art, the scrap like um, um, videotape and um, remember those audio cassettes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I had uh, audio cassettes that, you know, got stuck in the machine as well um, um, way back in the day. But my audio is now on, on iTunes, not on the you know, a uh, cassette tape deck. You never have there to go back to broadcast television? You ever think, I don't know what's on broadcast television right now. Do um, you ever think about it? Because I would. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of been... I, I have to um, somewhat... I guess confess. I mean, of uh, back when Barack Obama was, you know, getting in on the um, election or you know his uh, inauguration speech or whatever back in 2008, uh, I tried sniffing out for like a um, a, a web stream on on uh, on the internet way back when, but. Um, What's, how, why is that kind of confession? Well, that that's a confession because um, um, I uh, um, Barack Obama has been in. Oh damn! Wow, uh, we we got oops. more problems. But um, Barack Obama has did uh, um, you know had an election um, uh, like. Eight years ago, or maybe seven. I'm not sure. Um, don't ask me to do the math. But anyway, do when, the math. No. Uh, okay. We got some text. We're gonna call this text guy 12. back. Uh, he's been in office um, generally about six years, and and so uh, six years ago. Um. I uh, wanted to um, uh, view a, a web stream, and every so often, you know, when there's a really big news major event, I, I try to launch uh, some sort of web stream, like, um, you know, RT.com, which is stands for Russia Today. Um, um, they're, they're, uh, uh, they're, uh, um, 
uh, their reporting I enjoy on, on in terms of like their dot com um, the uh, um, MSNBC um, I haven't been able to find a, you know a good web stream you know all throughout the last six or eight years or whatever so um, you know that's why I've been going to places like rt.com in terms of like instant news like you know up up to the moment news the Russian news well Hello? Russia today uh, gives you like a I'll get back to you maybe all right hope you're having a great day Uh, it's a program. You're texting us. Are you? Uh, did you ask your parents before you texted us? Come on back. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, sound, sound like a kid. A kid with a phone. Those kids have phones now. Yeah. Um. Uh. The, uh oh, RT. He, he texted. He said, "Can't talk now. Call me later." I don't know, kid. Did you ask your parents? You gotta listen to your message. I don't want to text the kid back either on the thing. Yeah. We gotta answer on the phone. Yeah. Uh, RT.com uh, is is basically international news, and and they they um, do it from the standpoint of I guess maybe. Um, uh, Maybe I, I guess what one would say, l liberal. Oh well, no. I well, uh, the Russian, you know, r Russian um, media. I guess maybe people overall are are centrist or or maybe slightly liberal than what they give themselves credit for or give uh, the, the, uh, the so you're, you're watching purposely biased to the liberal media is that what you're saying uh yeah I guess that's what I'm saying that's bad well well sorry I think you should I here I go apologizing again apologizing anyway apologizing for your own opinion but uh, if it's liberal news, and they're only going to tell you what you want, what they want to hear, and what they want you to hear, and they're going to they're going to leave stuff out and skew stuff on purpose, and they guess you already know that, and that's what you want to hear, so it's okay, I guess. Well, of uh, Russia, and you know. So why is it Russia today anyway? You well, Russia today is the, the one of their main um, broadcast facilities is right there out of Moscow, and. Um, but they uh, do it in English. Yeah, they do it in English. Um, uh, are they Russian? Are they sound Russian though? When they like Russian accent? Well, the, uh, the, uh, they have uh, a broadcast studio right there in, in, you know, in Moscow, and it lets leads me to believe that you know at least uh, 15, 20 percent of the people that speak there um, speak in English, like. English is is pretty common um, um, spoken language even in Russia, um, w which uh, kind of um, shocks me a little bit. You know why why is it so hard for you know um, American-born people to be you know um, bilingual? Uh, mm -hmm. um, we should be about as bilingual as any other country in the world, and that's just not so at all you know foreign language uh, at least in in terms of some schools is thought of as a an elective and you know it's not uh, why is it to be an elective when you could probably broaden your mind for you know years and years after you graduate from high school you know to be bilingual or as, as a translator or something uh, I think that that is a really special talent that is kind of like under underused and and whatnot. Uh huh. Um, uh, uh, Russia um, today. 
Oh, oh hey, it's time for a commercial break. Four, yep. Three, two, one. After these messages, we will be live. Don't eat there or do. Okay. Yum. Or dance yuck. Dance, only dance. Dance, only dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. CCTV Studio A, 440 Yager Way. Oh yeah. Brown Interior Limited presents Private Memories of the Skrill Meadow album 2014. Featuring the song Just Because. Private Memories. Double back. Coming up on the next episode of You Day Out With Me. Yeah. Hey, but it's the program commercial. Today is walking day. Here's Carl's walking over to the couch. Um, I talk about all my various exploits, including a long walk from uh, Olympia to Lacey. Maybe I talked about it on the program before, but you can watch it again at 11.30 p.m. tonight and 2 a.m. for last year's episode. Guns. And about, um, oh, I, I, wait a minute. Um, I gotta look at the next month. It's the end uh, of the, the month. Th yeah, the, the next month we have nothing. Uh oh, really? That's October. Yeah. You're looking at October. Oh, I'm sorry. Walking. Walking. That's right. Walking. Do we, get, do we need more themes? Probably. Are we getting backed up? Oh no, we still have another week of 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 them. So we should probably re. Uh, we up on themes, I guess we should probably also call Jessica. It's gonna be here on Monday, maybe. What I was gonna say about you know um, RT.com is that um, Russia, uh, especially uh, in in the uh, corner of the world around Poland and. Um, um, Eastern Germany, probably, you know, all of Europe has um, um, faced um, uh, war, you know, at, you know, specific times throughout the... What are you talking about, this, the Russian war? Well... RT.com? Well, the... the, the uh, our, I, I think that through um, good reporting, um, you're able, um, people are able to... Uh, uh, look at why is war happening and you know like let's not have violence what are you talking about then I will call you back as soon as I can thank you a lot oh oh, oh no pretty calling us another thing Oop. hello 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 hey program I'm walking on the street I think we just got buzzed by a bat whoa like a bit a uh, uh, flying bat yeah, flying bat. Freaky. It's, uh, I'm on the cross street of Fifth and Water right now, and it just flew. And Kirsten is checking it out right now to see if she can still see it. But it flew very close to us. It was pretty freaky. It just got rabies. Might have rabies. Look uh, out. Happy television theme you, today. Yeah. You, you don't want to scare yourself too much. Uh, well, most of the time, bats are like, um, you know, vampires. Yeah, or vampire they drink bats. Blood, but these these bats probably only eat bugs. Mosquitoes. You know, I think they're, they're they're more scared of you than you are of it, probably. Yeah, I think so. Kristen's making. I think she sees it. Where where do bats oh, live? That on are... the inside of the it's, okay. So. Is that it? Are you sure? It's hanging on the inside of this wall here, like 
There's an awning that hangs down on this building. I don't have my flashlight. Well, don't try to light uh, at it. The Heritage Bank building. Whoa, there's a there's oh. bunch under there. Where do bats live at in the daytime around here? Because there's no like big caves and stuff. Um, they like to live in like really tiny, small spaces. There's a huge colony of bats that live out by um, Boston Harbor. Is it? It is totally the bat. Is it Boston Harbor that they live out at? I wouldn't know. I think I think Woodard Bay. I'm sorry, Woodard Bay. They live in the in the um, train trust. Oh uh, yeah, they live in tunnels. Yeah, this bat, this bat is is it's hanging out. I think it might be lost. Uh oh. Got to find your home, bat. You don't have that much time. I, I mean, I think bats and vampires are. I mean, they're connected. To, weren't they, were, they were connected in the, in the old stories too. That's why they're. Maybe bats are scary in the first place, but maybe, maybe that's why bats are nocturnal, or maybe that's why vampires are nocturnal, it's because bats are. Yeah, I've heard that when bats go in the sunlight, um, they see it sort of like how we can't see in the dark except for too bright, you know, it's like you come out of a cave except for all the time. Yeah, that would make sense, they probably have pretty good night vision. So it's not so much that they're blind, it's just that it's not as harder for them. They can probably still echolocate, though, I imagine. They're, that's probably no different. Oh, yeah, they need sunglasses, and then they could, wouldn't be so blind. Whoa, that'd be so cool. Bats with sunglasses. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, We're sitting down. They say blind is a bat, but why would a bat need to see you? Because there's no light around it anyway. Yeah, that's true. I'm looking at the bat. I think they see by uh, sque squealing. Yeah, echo location. Yeah. Where is the bat? Is it? You can, you're you're in, right in front of the bat. You can see it on the ceiling. Yeah, I can see it. It's on the wall. I'm looking at it. It's tiny. It's like really, really small. I'm like five feet away. It's really small. It's like the size of a uh, mouse. It's like a size of a, like smaller than a baseball. Wow, maybe it's a baby. It's the summertime. Is it baby? Is it baby season? I could see its ears or something. Yeah. It could be a baby. Oh, maybe it is a baby. That's probably if it's lost. No. It's Kirsten probably... says that's how small they are. Oh, they're adults. Yeah, it's an adult. Um, that's a. I'm trying to make friends with them over here. That's... Sorry, uh, that... uh, I was. Gonna talk about television or TV, but well, I think I mean I think it's yeah, what, what you, what's happening is more relevant. What's happening around you? That's a, a scientific yeah, that's family. She knows about animals and b brother knows about uh, plants and stuff. So yeah, I want to learn more about bats. I'm so excited we got to see one tonight. You know, they come down from Winter Bay every night and feed over Capitol Lake and eat the bugs. That's a seven mile flight. It's oh, yeah. kind of a lot. Well, it seems like a long, a, a far f way to go, but I think flying is a pretty easy mode of transportation. Yeah, I mean, seven miles is probably still a long way to go. I wonder how fast a bat flies. Maybe they fly pretty fast. Like they go, they sometimes fly there and back again, and then they like fly to Capitol Lake and then back to Woodard Bay to feed the babies, and then they fly back again to get their own food. Wow. So that's like 24 miles. No, wait, 28 miles. But it's like a straight shot, and I think I would say, I would think flying is way easier than... <laughs> flying is lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to learn how to fly. That'd be the best, because then you don't have to walk around stuff or yeah. anything like that. Because they say it's like as the crow flies, but as the bat flies, they fly too. That's look when you get them in skeletal form, they look like little humans too, because they have they, their wings are kind of just like big hands that have uh, webbing, and they because they're like they have a thumb, and then their uh, pointer and index or the pointer and middle finger are kind of like stuck together to make it more strong, and then the other two joints are the uh, ring finger and pinky finger. Yeah. But pretty much, if you look at a bat skeleton, it looks like a tiny angel. But they're kind of, they're bipeds too. 
So I yeah, think, they I can mean, crawl around. They never really use their their uh, feet too much, but they're if if they, I think I would imagine that it looks like they're standing up like people like on two legs. Do you want a number, oh, Freddy? But, you know there was that Disney movie, maybe the one about Anastasia, and they had a bat character who walked around on two legs. Yeah, sometimes it, it's uh, time for the final dice game. And Batty from Fern Gully. Um, let's see. I'm gonna pick a number three. All right, here we go. Gonna pick a number five. Three. <laughs> Two threes. It's three? No, no, no. You you have two threes. You and uh, Kira there. No, no, one three. One three so far. You got 500 points. 500 points. All right. Now cool. you got. Oh, oh, 500 more. Oh, 1,000 more. more. You won. 1,000 more, 1,500 points. We won. Do we want to share or do we want to battle? <laughs> battle. No. <laughs> Dang it. I guess. No, I'm just, okay. <laughs> Wait, do you, what number do you have, Carl? Five? Five. Oh, yeah. So you. We're going to share. It's okay. Twins. You're going to share? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That feels good. I think, uh, yeah. I was a little worried. It's hard to battle. I can't even see what you're rolling there. Yeah, well, you, we could battle on the phone. We would roll for you, which would be kind of novel. The Oyster House is back in action. I just uh, We walked over to the Oyster House now. It looks exactly the way it did before. Totally yeah. identical to what yep. it was before. It even has... Maybe it was Dan. Somebody told me that uh, they built it exactly like the old one so that they could call it a repair instead of... a. Uh, or like a remodel or repair instead of a rebuilding entirely. Oh, that makes sense. Some I think the inside's a little bit different, but the outside is perfectly the same. Yeah, isn't that weird? I guess they don't need new things. I would take the opportunity to do something crazy, but maybe that's not what they want to do. Well, maybe yeah, they, the... Uh, maybe the, uh, uh, the uh, specific crowd that visits the Oyster House more often is uh, the kind of person that is really involved in nostalgia. Yeah. And I, I think it's tourists. Nobody like I don't know anybody that like is a big fan yeah. of the Oyster House. Well, yeah. No, I'm not. I, I've only had bad experiences there, but I'm glad I've never back. Ha had experiences there. I think it's more for tourists. True. Yeah, I think right. When the Oyster House burned down, though, I was able to look at a picture of a postcard when um, they shot it around 1970 or even 1960 and it, it was you know it, it looked like it, it does pretty much now except for the neon lighting of course the neon lighting they didn't have uh, 30 or 40 years ago um, or 50 or whatever mm -hmm. Great. Well, hey, uh, so you seen anything good on TV? Uh, I have pretty much have only been watching the program lately on TV. Uh, what else did I see? Um, no, I haven't, I haven't seen much on TV. How about, how, how's TCTV? Watching my TV on the internet. How's TCTV doing? Great. We're having the volunteer recognition picnic on the 20th, and then also, uh, gonna open up the studio pretty soon after that that is that the one with the did they already have one this year or was that a whole year ago that was a year ago really yeah the one that the last one that was a whole year ago because i remember that one like it was yesterday it feels like it was just yesterday oh uh, no that's that's pretty far in the past now with like with uh with what's it called uh bingo yeah there will be bingo that's next month. Um, oh, hey, I got to Sorry, program. Bye. I got to go. Bye. Bye. I can't believe that's a whole year ago. You know, sometimes time goes by so fast or so, so strangely. Yeah. Of uh, the uh, I'm kind of used to it though. Maybe time went by strangely? That th th I just you know have to accept it like it's just uh, another thing that just comes on by you, you know poop
poof, and you're like 10 years older, poof, you're another 10 years older. Every 10 years is going by like a poof for you? To some degree, yeah. And and so I, was, I am the kind of person that wouldn't really need to emphasize, you know, too much of anything that, you know, it's like, uh, sure, you could get all heady about it and say, oh my god, I'm aging before my eyes, you, you know, but, or you could be like, oh, well, I, maybe this is a, a, a challenge or a sign to myself, to me, you know, to take a, a more honest approach at what, what I'm doing, you know, you know, day by day, you know, and just trying to enjoy, you know, uh, what uh, what I'm uh, the next ten or fifty years of my time here on the planet. Ten or fifty, huh? Watch more broadcast television. Uh, or do more walking, which is tomorrow's episode. Oh yeah, well I'll be tomorrow. Though. Yeah, today this is what I like to do. Today's <laughs> episode. Tomorrow's episode of what Carl likes to do, kind of. <laughs> you like it, or or is it a, like a challenge for you, man? Well, I guess we'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's try to call Mr. Ginsu again. I'm 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 looking for him still. I think he might his phone might have been turned off though. I guess at some point we're gonna have to decide that that's what happened. But let's try again anyway. <laughs> if you haven't been watching, Mr. Ginsu said he's, le- he's like, I'm, you'll never believe where I am, I'm far away, and then he never talked to us again, so I don't know how far away he is. Oh, we should, I thought we want to call uh, John Webster, because I'm pretty sure John Webster is going to be watching television right now, broadcast television, and that's uh, part of the day, so, yeah, this is, I don't know, M- Mr. Gintu turned off his phone or something. Where are you, Mr. Gintu? He's uh, gone, you know, I can only, I, I guess, uh, you know, I fear the worst. But that's where you go, that's where, if you don't know what, what it is. Maybe you can fear the, or you can think the best, but I, I fear the worst, I guess, that's what. We're playing for the worst, I guess, at least, you know. Whatever can happen will happen, that's what they say, it's like Murphy or something. Um, yeah, true story. You know Murphy? Maybe it's just the phones though, because this is John Webster. Uh, yeah, my my dad, you know, uh, thinks of uh, you know, the whole Murphy's Law, like you know, the, the you know, that was uh, um, like a smart smart man or something like that, and I'm like, okay, well, well that's great, Dad. Um, I. Do believe that I heard the chimes, so thank oh, yeah. you, viewers, for tuning in to the program. Yeah, thanks, uh, Freddie and Carl, for being here today. Uh, thank you, Bats. Um, thank you, Broadcast TV. Thank you, MSNBC and Kirsten, or whatever her name is. RT. There, yeah, RT. Yeah. Um. Whatever else. I not sure. What's RT? Oh, Russian, t- Russian television. That was R- R- Russia today. Russia yeah. today. Uh, Russian television. <laughs> uh, we made it to another episode of the program of Losing Consciousness of Dying. I'm so close to dying. I thought maybe. But yeah. We, we have a long time to go for aging slowly and moving fast, quickly through time. Uh, time. John was Britain. Hey, John. What's on TV? Seven. Um. I was sitting at home. It will be on. Uh, it will be on pretty. It will be on pretty soon. I missed. Uh, I missed the the pra- I missed the parade on seventy on seventy seven. Uh huh. I missed the parade on seventy seven. Oh uh, no. Yeah, because uh, they had uh, uh, the Mariners start at four o'clock. Uh, and then, uh, then I was listening to the, then I was listening to the uh, Comerniers. Both the uh, t- both teams won. Uh, 
home of Rainier's who are, I mean, two home of Rainier's who are, I mean, uh, Seattle's oh, yeah, great partners. Uh, over hey, Cleveland. thanks, John. Out for the we'll talk to you later. And then, uh, then, um, thanks, Rainier.